stove and a fridge to hold all my, uh, like, uh, consumable stuff. Like, food and that kind of stuff, consumable stuff. And there's an AC unit in here. I didn't move this bench back to where it needs to be, but I made this for like, the collectible cars and the collectible magazines. A uh, chem box and a first aid box, which is empty. And of course, behind our uh, bookshelf here, we just have the uh, workbench, workshop workbench. But unfortunately, I leveled up a couple times when I was working on this. So, uh, I've got some points to put in. One more for agility. I'm just going to put them all in agility. And next level we can get Blitz. Then we're going to work on... So we'll get these up. Yeah, we'll be able to get these two up. And we'll also work on Charisma. Because we, are, we did uh, specify that we were a mercenary by trade. So... Oh, and I was attacked by some asshole and got this this axe because he was carrying it. Here's the asshole right here. This guy. This is the asshole. I didn't move the dog meats thing closer yet, but I want to see if I Actually, I don't know if it shows up in here or not. Let's see. Yeah. I need to make this. I don't have any circuitry. Uh, where is the, like, big hopper from the top? Because that's what I need. Or maybe I just... No. Maybe I just put it on the... On the ground. But yeah, I'll need some circuitry... for the auto butcher here. Yeah. And I can, I can make this. So I put the auto butcher, like, over... Where should I put this? Somewhere out of the way. No one will care. Just, just, put, it, just put it, like, over here. Man, this is not flat at all. Whatever. Whatever. We're not working. We're not. We won't worry about that. All right. What do we have here? I don't know who that do that to. Maybe that's in Diamond City. That's sanct. Are those just in Sanctuary? Or are those just in the general vicinity? Well, whatever. We'll we'll do, we'll do this one. We'll start here. Dog meat. Hey. Over here. All right, buddy. Let's go. Coming. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Going out in the rain. I see if there's anything under the bridge. Dog. I mean, usually there's a spawn, a thing, like a random event always, like, spawns under here. There are a lot of you. Go 
Don't hurt dog meat. Jackass. So how is everybody tonight? Stash, Nuka Cola. Okay. Railway spikes, huh? Now oh, we got ghouls. Bedford Station. Ghouls! Body move. No, it didn't. Those ones are. Oh! Bad! I thought I saw another blip. Is it just that one? Anything in here? Action sniper rifle. Boo. Boo. Oh, a settler. Dutchman's instructions. Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Ah! You're attacking my dog! Come on, bud. Let's go. Hey! That is rude. Down you go. Give me that blue. There's the blue barrel. Oh, that's a, that's a drop of some kind. What kind of... Uh... Do, do. Oh, okay, I already have a light chest piece. Who needs cram? This axe is, uh, it's kind of powerful. Okay. Let's check up here and see if there's anything up stairs. Ah, another car. Herbie car. Bedford Station recording. It's half past. She's late. No. Something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look. Five of them. It's a trap. Damn it. We've got to surround it. What do we do? I won't. 
don't know what that was all about. Stop interrupting me. Who else? Anybody else? You? No. Alrighty. Desk fans. All those are empty. Loading dock. Miscellaneous or pound. <clears throat> Electrical wire. Nothing really useful in there, I don't think. Ramen meat. You can cook that up into something good. I hope it's just one you need. Hey, you around? Hey, what's up? Yeah, they got crops going here. Whoa. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble over here. What's up with you and your hands there? Point a gun at everyone you meet. I'm afraid I do these days. If you lose any more of our, now you'd best get yourself on. <laughs> what is up with you? We've got... Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen. Or should I be on my way? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing. We know where they're coming from. I'll take care of them. Thanks, Fred. But you folks are for real this time. Uh huh. Oh, I'll take care of them, all right. My axe. Swing faster. Dog meat. No. Don't get in the way. Shit. Poor dog meat. Got in my way. The axe. That's a terrible place for a mattress. Don't you guys have a cooking station here? Please tell me you do. Oh, good. <laughs> I will never get over that. Ribeye steak.
Hey. What's up? Hi. Best way to spend your caps is protecting your hide with my armor. That advice. What kind of stuff do you have? I sell armor for old man Stockton's outfit, based out of Bunker Hill. Been selling armor to smart wastelanders for years. Uh huh. But they don't stay dumb long. What Let's do you have, you have to sell? That's a way to get yourself killed. Peace pipe. Okay. 10% chance to disarm melee attacker on hit. Plus one agility and perception. That's nice if I can't afford it. And let's see what this is. Reduces damage from super mutants. Plus one strength and endurance. Also good. That's even better. Wow, that is worth 16,000. That's worth 737. That's metal armor, though. Oh, I also picked up a folding chair melee weapon. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. Uh, what do I have to sell you? I'll never use this. These are rare. This isn't, but this, those are. I'll sell you some of my uh, cigarettes. I don't need all these. Uh, what else? What else? Pretty war money. Sell all my shit. You know what? That metal armor might not be a bad idea. That's just totally helpful for <laughs> what I'm doing. Lucas, you still here? Hey, Lucas. Got the best armor in these parts. Let's see what you have. Don't cheap out on armor. Uh huh. Okay. This. And. Anything else I could sell to you? Yes, I do, actually. Aha! I think that's just better in every way. What the fuck was that? Those or was it something else? I saw something else. <laughs> Super mutants. What were they doing here? What were they fighting? my crit and everything. To 
think I'd be fighting a Mr. Gussy so fucking early. And I have water. Uh, let me drink some water. The scavenge here. Do we have anything? Of course not. Got a makeshift camp. Refrigerator door. Toilet. Ramen. That looks like a thing I can get into. Sweet. I wanted the mod that you could just open doors by smacking them with the melee weapon if you had the correct uh, strength. But. Yeah, I thought I heard a ghoul. Oh, that's just a... Stop it! <laughs> Can't hit those! Yeah, this weapon's kind of slow. Tub. Nothing. What if that's a whole different building? I don't want to. Discover that building over there. Ah, oh, that's a super duper mart. Okay. Okay. What you doing down there, dog mate? Okay, there was absolutely nothing of value here. Let's go back downstairs. Fancy name, so it has more parts. And a power armor station. Wow. This place has quite a few things. 
mess with those creepy mannequins. Creepy, creepy mannequins. Reduces limb damage. A unarmed and melee attacks ignore some of target's armor. That will be useful for the future sometime. Oh, and it's already the best it can be with uh, the, that regard. Okay. Sweet. Faded Glory Laundromat. All these shops. I think those are ghouls. Wait, maybe not. Come on, dog meat. If those plates have uh, ceramic in them or not. I know these coffee cups do. Locum Joe's basement. Let's go down there. I got a bunch of mods that reward exploring, so I gotta explore. ceramic and aluminum. Can get on here? No, not working. Okay. to the laundromat, though. Why is there a comic book in a washer? Bottle caps, I can totally understand. But not a freaking comic book. Someone put a skeleton in that one, or a person. Another one. And what's a beaker doing in there? And you were not having a good day. Hype train tunnels.
Okay, I gotta see what deal with this is. I think a hard save just in case. Cause I got no idea. Don't know if this is what kind of mod area this might be. Cause I'm pretty sure it's for from a mod. Mutated fern. Okay. This is kind of creepy. This is really creepy. Rich Richardson. I don't know who you are, dude. Gotcha. Whoever the hell you are, gotcha. Plasma flare gun. This is where we started, right? Hype train info term. All right, let's see what this says. Maybe this will explain what the hell this place is. Trans cultural S riots, something lie in the long running science fiction anthology series, The Endless Hype Train, created by visionary RNG S Sterling and running from 1956 to 1957. Almost half a century later, the show inspired a collection of tech innovators to begin work on a pioneering high-speed rail line designed to connect major American and Canadian cities using 
revolutionary new technologies for all trains up to all well, miles per hour. There you go. By the mid-century, the line was still incomplete and public interest was waning. To ensure funding for test launches, the train was converted to accommodate a yearly technology convention with a particular focus on interactive media and quantum innovations. Quantum high train test launches have been held since 20... whatever. Thanks to a tech initiative passed by the Stark administration. <laughs> The complete line can be expected to open late 2078. Okay. Something about a gift shop. Well, this is definitely a... Maybe this is just endless hi the hype train or something. I don't know what the... Okay, that doesn't open. So I can only go this way. Well, let's see how far this we can go tonight, or how far this takes us. Put it up here. Nothing else here. What was that item? Huh. So I make sure this doesn't lead somewhere. It can. Okay. So upstairs is the only place to go. Uh. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. Does it? Oh, whatever. Is this? Yeah. This is pretty trippy. Material. Reproductive rig. Handmade. 
Rich Richardson's private terminal. Okay. What's here? <clears throat> 9, 10, 2245. I guess I'm wondering why Dad would have asked me to the Capitol rig that day ch to choose me as his successor? Probably. But thank Lincoln, I was behind schedule. Had I arrived in China, I'd be at the bottom of an ocean with Dad, Uncle Dan, and the rest of those old fools. Not that being recalled to the reproductive rig is what I'd call it true living, they expect me, a set of presidents, to spend the rest of my days pumping out new soldiers. With that damn autumn running off and taking all the best handmaids with them. How can we expect to produce anything worth worthy of the Enclave name? Oh. The Enclave thing. I knew sneaking into the radio tower at night would eventually pay off. I'd always suspected that Granddad's diplomacy crusades have been might have followed a few lasting splinter groups. And I appear to have finally found one. They're understandably reluctant to hand out details. All I know is that they call themselves technocrats, and acknowledge my father as one of their as their true one true leader. It is entirely possible that they're the same ones who got to Autumn, and if they're desperate enough to recruit refugees, just imagine how pleased they'll be with the one true heir to the presidency. One problem: they're currently running out of. A city called Chicago. Currently working out of. Which the satellite images put somewhere on the edge of the Great Lake. If I'm going to make it, I'll need a vertebrate time to put the all night vault cam viewings on hold and break out those old flight sims instead. Listen, the vertebrate won't be needed after all. I was taken through one of the old storage bays and found an airship still in working condition. One of Granite's treasures, no doubt, probably stashed here during one of his impeachment trials. I moved it to the North, north Docks. Just need to pack up and record some thoughts for posterity. And then I'm set for freedom. I won't miss this place. The leaks, the same dozen Vulcans, the pushy handmaids, Professor Higgins and his endless dictation lessons. I'm tired of being a nobody, and this is my Columbus moment. Why would it with planning self? Okay. Okay, they're just silent. Make them even more creepy. Okay, that doesn't open. What this one? This one does. Yeah. Rich Sanderson. Jeanette Michelson. Indians number nine. Excuse me. Huh? <clears throat> yeah. You add nothing new to the conversation. Who the hell are you people? Okay. That door led in nowhere, right?
guess I go up here. Nope. Nope. Stowage Depot. Mike Michelson. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Just continue. die if I go down there. Check. No. I don't know how far that'll go, so I'm not even gonna bother. My dog's freaking out. I'm just going absolutely nuts. This is like an overlook. Eddie. Eddie. Uh, I'll be right back. To make to just check on her real quick. All right, she was just messing with the bone. Let's see what these say. Colombian speech by President Richardson. As your president, I am pleased to announce the return of the Colombian. A diplomatic air vessel commissioned by my father, which has for the past 20 years been chartering, charting the long unexplored eastern coast of the continent. Helmed by one of our proudest pilot families, this marvelous craft took with it four of our finest my older brothers, Rand and Chet Richardson, the former Secretary of Secret, Sally Sanderson, 
and war hero Michael, Hor Michael Horrigan. They left us as pioneers to become leaders of a small group of non-mutant survivors in the former city of Boston. As we're interested in bloodline stretches back to the great Drapper slash Campbell presidencies of 1980 to 1996, I have no doubt these boys will inspire future generations of the new Eastern Enclave, and someday we will join together with to free the continent of mutant and imperfections and restore our lost country to our to the glory that came before. Sir, I do have to remind you that the congressional rig has been almost literally up in arms about your recent budget decisions. Publicly showcasing example of your father's rather untidy spending record is the sort of thing that risks mutiny. Maybe the thing that would have been present presentable as a research project if Bird hadn't deleted the computer records for the love of Lincoln, give him something to keep him busy. I've told the girls to stash the craft in the storage bay of the reproductive rig. Hopefully by the time anyone finds it, this conflict will have given way to something more manageable. Sam Anderson, Secretary of State. Oh, there's a bathroom on here. Chicago skyline. See the save from downstairs. So let me check something here. Yeah. Quests. I guess this is it here. <coughs> I think I know what mod this is part now. It actually has Chicago in the title, I believe. Just gonna come back here at a later at a later time when we're higher level and stuff. That was definitely interesting to look through. Yeah, I think this is called Endless Hype Train, Chicago, or something along those lines. I need to make a note to come back here.
I can't believe I just randomly stumbled upon this. I think it didn't spawn me in the right place. I think it was supposed to put me... A little bit farther in. Uh, I'm gonna have to report this bug. Hell, maybe that's a th bug that, that's already been uh, reported. I don't know. But we'll see. Yes, this laundromat in Lexington. Dog meat around? There you are, buddy. Glad you're back. Oh, I discovered the Super Duper Mart. I guess I gotta go inside now. Shit. Probably found the crap in there, huh? I don't need the pistol. Unless it's a unique pistol, I don't need it. Sorry, buddy. My dog barks again. I'm gonna have to go check on her. What's this? Parking garage. Old plated flip flipper. Okie dokie. Minutemen. Ow! Okay. I did not see that coming.
jackasses. This is part of the uh, Hunted Encounters mod. And the fact that I was able to kill him in like one, one go is thanks to a different mod. <laughs> Which allows me to sneak attack, uh, assassinate people, pretty much. It's great. All right, no need for that. Gotta make sure. All right, I'll be right back. Fucking dog.
Sorry about that, the dog wanted out. And that is why I am playing a game that I can pause. Otherwise, we're playing Bloodborne tonight. Anyway, we're going to be exploring the Super Duper Mart. I think that's the reason we came down here. Luck? Easter egg, hunt, key, one out of ten. Nice. This is the first one of these I've ever made. Don't worry, this grenade won't kill you. It just has a nice surprise inside. There are also nine more scattered on the Commonwealth. Good luck finding them all. Oh. Easter egg, oh one. I am a little sad that it just marked all the places that they can, I guess they'll be. Let's see, old bunker. Oh, whatever. That's Kevlar, too. Or at the very least, it should. Make sure there's nothing else in this building here. Alright. Uh, stay away from there. Check the bank. I think, and then go inside. I just keep delaying it, don't I? Does have a screw in it? Okay. That has cork. Oh, they made a bank heist. These two were. Must have happened right as the bombs fell. I don't want to I do not want to touch that. Or that. We're not even near where we need to be.
There we go. Now we're hitting again. Just have this at the ready. He was saving his hat. Oh, quantum. You could cherry too. Nice. Doing. There's gonna be nothing good in there. The Saint number 12. That probably has asbestos in it. Melons that are somehow still still good they aren't rotten or anything you scared me dog mate This, this terminal and unlock the safe. Uh, dark. One likeness. No, 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 no. Yep, safe control. Disengage. Atomics. Tip in down that way. My problem is if I uh, discover something, I kind of have to explore it. 
That way I know I didn't miss out on anything. Okay, we got that damn thing over there. Hit it. There we go. Coffee cup. Excellent. By the time I can uh, work on the, uh, the Corvega plants or whatever, I'm gonna have like no room for other other stuff to carry other shit. thought there was like a, a normal book in here somewhere. Like a skill book. Or skill magazine, rather. Might be in there. Or I just totally missed it. Which is possible. There it is. There we go. Got some beer on the wall. Cherry. That is the good shit. Melons. Lots of melons. Alrighty. You just leave drugs out on the wall for all the kids and stuff to get. So good of them, wasn't it? Yes. Another Minuteman. Minuteman backpack. This is about. Is that normal? Is that a normal item? I did not know I was able to get backpacks. That is surprising. That is a pleasant surprise for me. Laser musket, I don't want it. This is probably the pharmacy, since they have the drugs in here.
Oh, down here. Does that one have no head? Oh, it just didn't load for some reason. Where are these all coming from? Bitches. Let's do this with the XP. Pick locks for the XP. Got it. What does that have? Rubber, steel, and asbestos. Dog. Another Minuteman. Josh's hollow tape. Tough left. a bit more weight, but it's better defense. Hunting rifle shortcut. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Not worth it, though. Alright, what's this holotape say? Search for anything that might tell us where they went. Other thing we found 
I can't tell if these Minutemen being here are normal or not. I cannot remember. Terminal. Expert. Can't get in there. Oh, right. the espresso machine but yeah right here this is Sally's old desk Sesame. Hey. Military grade duct tape. Yeah. Hey. Okay, got some jet. And someone's gonna have some uh, sugar bombs in the toilet. That's. That's great. Silver. Take this. <clears throat> Cram. having your arm and that's hollow tape drink some water. Okie dokie. Out of there. Now we can storm that place unless I find another thing to, to distract me. Which, you know, can happen. You know, like that door over there that I'm not used to. That fucking feral just opened. I think it's fantastic. Nope.
I think it may Luke is a sign to just stay the fuck away. Don't you agree? How about you, dog meat? Where'd you go? You'll catch up. I have mentioned distractions, right? You know what's gonna. F oh, fuck. I was expecting to find a car in the, uh. Super Duper Mark. Got our level. Time to get Blitz. Next we can't get to level 29, so we got a bit of a ways to go. Well, I gotta climb this st this, this building now. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I have to. Shit. It's too elaborate. I'm surprised it didn't take fall damage. I want to see if there's anything up there. But we shall not right now. So right here we can kill that in one shot. No dog meat. Teleport. Riding <laughs> goggles, I can give those to dog meat. Killed this one. Yeah, I need to make some more bolts. <laughs> like, really badly. Uh... Alright, whatever. Go on inside, dog meat. Let's go. There's a car. Yes. Machine gun car.
And I know related to an uh, earlier thing we found. I don't know what mod it is that does the Easter eggs. I'm hoping it's just... I can't remember. dog meat. Oh, Salisbury steak. Probably not that good. We're here. We just don't know where we are exactly. Yeah, bleed out, jackass. Jet fuel day tripper. This is a relatively large place. Gold watch. More comics. Where's that coming from? Here. Oh, yes. That was great. Rah.
Alright, there's no way in hell they're coming here right now. What kind of... Five per second for ten seconds, that's not irradiated, so... Eat that fine. Fuck that. Which one was Gristle's terminal? This one here? <laughs> Alright, Dogmeat, we're finished in here. And now we're finished in here. I'm gonna loot these guys in peace now. Got it. I was expecting a trap in here with all this oil on the ground. Let's go, dog meat. Let's go down here.
Must be another feral coming in. Sweet. Lonnie's terminal. was trying to figure out the site, huh? Maybe that's why they were, uh, attacking that group of people. Yeah, it leads outside. Assholes. There. All right, give me a second to hide behind this fence here. Way too quickly. <laughs> you have that was relatively silent. Ah, I thought so. Give me those bolts. Low sight, huh? And his copper. Where did that ghoul come from? From there? No, that's where I came in, wasn't it? No. No, I came in through a door. This is the door. Yeah. Where did that ghoul come from? The hole in the wall? Is there a hole in a wall somewhere? It, like, came from over here or something, it seemed like. Well, oh, whatever. I've been through here. This whole place is just a maze. Nice. And this leads to the roof. No dog meat, don't go in there. Uh. 
Man, he has a really bad habit of just going wherever the hell he pleases. Which usually seems to be right into the face of danger. Missed it the first time around. Foods. No, 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 no. That's it. Looks like the Protectron got him. Why am I even here? Vega safe key. What's the safe? Grognak. Yes. I remember looking her eyes when she saw my face, kid, you're gonna be a monster.
Yeah, so these guys were, uh, trying to figure out how Mama Murphy's sight worked. And they were experimenting on people, all sorts of crazy shit. So, yeah, that happened. Crazy, right? That Protectron didn't work. I am glad I turned it on. Yeah, I don't know what the safe key is actually supposed to be good for. Oh! I've never found this here. I'll take all that. Alright, so shall we go to the roof where all the other raiders are? Kill them? That is satisfying. What's gonna do with that in R, buddy? Uh, these are above. Oh, there's one over there. Hey! How dare you hurt my dog! I'm coming for you, don't you worry. You're just really high up. What it takes to make a uh, decontamination arch. Actually, I mean to take those one things, but whatever. Damage is done. And I have the room.
Can I surprise him? Just teleport right to him and demolish him. Roar! Smash! Who's next? Oh, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm a coming for you. Now I teleport to you. Rawr. There's still more that could fight us? Really? Just below? Okay. There you are. Hey, you got more bullets for me, do you? I'll take those. Or not. Guess I don't have to wait. God. Couldn't even land on a railing. How rude of him, right? Y'all agree with me? Uh... Screw it. Did I check over there? Doesn't look like it. Just turn off the lights. Just so they'll stop being annoying. <laughs> oh, this destruction we left in our path. Oh, shit. Sh Ow. Um... This... Oh, I can't even get to him. Give me your bolts. Yes. All right, we cleared it. We done here. Let's go turn this shit in.
Oh, it's raining now. Great. Just great. Hey. Hey. Yeah, kick their asses. Kick their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we got around here for a good so we've been talking. We decided if we want things to get better. Mm -hmm. So we're in. Hooray! Let's go back to our base of operations. Nope, that's not it. I hear it is. It's just not raining in here. All right. Put some of our sigs in here too. Yeah, that'll work. And one of those. 2x sneak attack modifier for a cigar. That's interesting. Oh, that's for all, both of those. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. The Red X and Radaway don't go in here. They go in here. There we go. Alright, let's... Cars and... Two of those, that's not good. Ground next good. station. Crossway now. Just made enough to last a little bit, a little while. Uh, Seventy-four. Yeah, that'll last us. Oh, that's really going out there, huh? All junk gone. I'll put you in there. You in there. 
to put you in there. I should have tried the folding chair on somebody. That would have been fun, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this. All right. Oh, I should close that door. That should be closed at all times. All right, let's, uh, not even late enough to sleep yet. It's wet. You know what, it's, uh, I think it's time to call it for tonight. Let's go ahead and, uh, hit the hay. Ten hours. And with that, uh, we are done for the night, folks. Thank you all for joining me. I am sorry about those occasional little blips where I had to go AFK for a little bit for the dogs. But it happens. Oh, we got company. Perfect thing for the chair here. Great, and I got more fucking, uh... guys to clean up. Well, on the bright side... I should have some, uh... things to create these now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow, I'll be on the Total Punishment Gaming channel to continue my Souls Level 1 Soul Level One run on Dark Souls 3. And on Thursday, I'll be back here at 7 with more Bloodborne. Good night.